When you code every day, it's just something that you do. It doesn't really matter what the situation is. You just kind of find the right time. So for me, it's whenever my daughter goes down for a nap. For you, it might be in the early mornings before everyone else wakes up. But, it, you know, what I'm getting at here is I think the people that really do code every single day are the ones that are really going to get into asking the question if, if this is a real mobile workstation. I didn't even know it until recently, but I was tying myself to my desk. My laptop heat problems, I'd have to solve with a laptop cooling pad. And I also had some battery anxiety issues because, you know, after like three hours of compiling and running emulators, your machine is going to die. I even considered buying a Mac Pro or getting something a little bit more upgraded just so that I would have a better experience coding from my desk. But ultimately, I was tied to my desk. The first thing I noticed about the new MacBooks is the lack of the touch bar. I absolutely love the size of the new escape key because I use it so much with them. But other than that, like the touch bar just didn't provide a whole lot of value for me. There were a lot of really neat integrations, but I just don't look at my keyboard. So I'd feel out of context or like I'd drop out of flow if I had to just hunt and find the thing that I needed on it. When you code every day, it doesn't really matter where you are. It's more or less just a matter of whether or not you want to get into it. Whether or not you want to take the time to establish flow. Because we all know as software engineers, it takes a while sometimes to get warmed up to a problem. And I think when you have the right mobile workstation, it does tend to make a difference. You know, I think about some of the problems I was having with the Intel-based machines, the heat, the fan noise. I couldn't just sit and chill with something in my lap and, and work on something tough, you know, running a lot of different emulators or, you know, solving hard problems. So th something that I want to explore today is what is it like coding again, just getting back into flow going out in the middle of nowhere, listening to the wind in the trees, just seeing like, how far can I get on a single charge? Wow, okay, that was a long day. I put it in about eight hours. Yeah, it never once got hot during my workflow. I really did feel like I could get in the zone and get some stuff done. I never really got distracted by the machine itself, which is great, that's exactly what I was looking for. I did end up having to recharge the device after um, about five and a half hours of pretty heavy usage. By heavy usage, I mean I'm running two servers, Docker instance, one emulator, three IDEs, heavy IDEs, IntelliJ, Postman, many Chrome browsers, end up taking some Zoom calls, and yeah, of course, a lot of compiling. I didn't ever once get distracted by heat or fan noise. Like, n never once was that an issue. Never once felt like I was getting hot. Or, I, I mean, I never even heard the fans kick on once. And like I said, when I did go to recharge, I used the 140-watt uh, MagSafe to really just pump it up quickly. Being able to top off really quickly was really important to me. Uh, I felt like that didn't really cut into my battery anxiety overall because I could just like plug in and get so much usage out of it so quickly. So that was really important to me. I would envision someone who is like about to get on an airplane or go on a trip or something like that, being able to plug in and top off really quickly, that being a really important feature for them to have. So yeah, just like generally speaking, I, I feel like all of my concerns have been met and that this is definitely, 
definitely a mobile workstation. Like I could take this and and plug it into a desk and like have a desktop grade machine, but also take it with me on the go. And and to me, it's really important to have something like that because I don't want to have multiple devices. I don't want to have like check out code from three different code bases and then like set up the environments and like run it all while like just context switching between a desktop and a laptop. I just like being able to take the laptop with me. Funny, I work remote, but even remote, I was stuck at my desk. So this laptop's going to let me go remote from my remote gig. I'm really excited about ditching the cooling pad and being able to go out and like even just like hang out at a local park bench and, and get some stuff done. Hey, so it's getting late. I should probably head home. I definitely got a text from my wife who wants to know where I am. But anyways, I really had a lot of fun doing this today. I want to know from you, if I were to release an app that gave away free hardware like laptops and software development licenses and those kinds of things, would you download it? If not, that's cool. If you would, uh, leave a comment and let me know because I kind of want to like give back to the community. You guys have really been supportive of everything that I've done. Um, all of it. I just want to give it all back to you guys. So let me know what you think. And uh, otherwise, like, subscribe if you like this review and want to stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot, guys. You've been listening to DevTech.